hi friends welcome to bokeh crochet today i'm going to show you how to make a custom fitted crochet today you are going to go ahead and crochet the project the tools that you are going to need for this project are the scissors two stitch markers a tapestry needle a tape measure with inches and centimeters a small calculator a pen or pencil a piece of paper a size g or four millimeters crochet hook two colors of lightweight yarn once you get all the equipment that you need we are going to go ahead and do the measurement using the previous video i'll put the link down below once you get the required measurements and you are ready go ahead and start your project in this project you are going to use a pair single crochet stitch extended single crochet stitch and a reverse single crochet stitch familiarize yourself with those three types of stitch next you are going to go ahead and make a slip knot if you are not familiar on how to make the foundation row you can go ahead and check on my previous video tutorial so we are going to go ahead and chain one once you chain one you go ahead yarn over insert hook into the chain stitch that you've just made onto the one loop of the chain stitch that you've just made yarn over and pull through one stitch so you can have three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all the three loops yarn over again on the two loops that are on the side these two loops right here you insert the hook into both of them you yarn over and pull a loop to have three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through the loops yarn over again insert hook into the two loops that you just made from the previous stitch yarn over and pull through to have three loops on the hook and you yarn over and pull through to all three loops on the hook keep on making until you get the required size of your waist bear in mind when you are going to do a foundation row make sure you have the stitches that have a multiples of two make the foundation row until you achieve the required size of a multiple of two once you get the required size slip stitch to make the foundation row round for me i'm going to go ahead and make
the reason why i'm using a foundation row instead of using the regular chain stitch because this will give you a stretching waist but if you use a typical chain stitch or the usual like chaining method you are going to get a waist that is rigid the reason why i use the foundation row instead of me using the traditional chaining method I made a total of 64 foundation row stitches and this is my last one that I just made. What I need to do after I do my required number of stitches, go ahead and slip stitch the first stitch into the last one. For you guys, what you need to do once you make your foundation row, you are going to go ahead and stretch it out like that and loosely pull it on your flat surface depending on what measurements you are going to use go ahead measure so don't stretch it lay it flat on the on your surface then go ahead and measure it For me, it's about 15 inches, which is about 38.1 or 38.2 centimeters. That's what my waist is. Once you measure your work, the required length or circumference of your waist, align your foundation round nicely on a flat surface to make sure nothing is tangled. So you go ahead and you slip stitch the first stitch into the last stitch to make your project round. So now that you've made your project round, make sure it's well aligned so it doesn't tangle. Go ahead and work on the first round. To work on the first round, we are going to use a paired single crochet. Once you slip stitch to make your round on the current stitch, insert hook into two loops, you yarn over, pull a loop to have two loops on the hook. We are making a paired single crochet here. Then next, you insert hook onto the next loop, we yarn over and pull another loop to have three loops on the hook. Next, you're going to go ahead and yarn over, you pull through to all the three loops, so you can have only one loop left on your hook. Now we've made our first stitch. To make our second stitch, we are going to go ahead, insert hook onto the current stitch, that is the stitch that you, where you just made your last loop, you yarn over, you pull one loop, to have two loops on the hook on the next loop you insert hook you yarn over you pull your third loop from there then you yarn over pull through to all the three loops insert hook onto the current loop that you've just worked on you yarn over you draw up a loop to have two loops on the hook you go ahead you insert hook onto the next loop we yarn over you pull a loop once you draw up that one loop you will have three loops on the hook we yarn over again you draw through the three 
loops on the hook so you can have only one loop left on the hook so this is what we are going to do from your waist to the top of your groin just know how many rounds you're gonna need once you determine the required size you go ahead to turn your project into round so you insert hook on the first stitch of your project you draw up a loop to have two loops on the hook and onto the next stitch you insert hook and then you pull up another loop to have three loops on the hook you yarn over you draw through all the three loops and there you've made your first paired single crochet to work on the second stitch on the current loop this one current loop is the loop that you just worked on so on the current loop you insert hook right there you yarn over you pull a loop to have two loops on the hook then you insert hook onto the next loop you yarn over you pull a loop to have three loops on the hook then you yarn over and draw through all the three loops current loop that one insert hook again yarn over pull a loop in the next stitch yarn over pull a loop then yarn over and draw through all the three loops so you repeat making the same stitch to the end of the round
so now here you go ahead and put a stitch marker to mark our first or last stitch so now round two you repeat the same stitch make a paired single crochet for me i'm going to make a total of five rounds including this one then i will come back and show you what to do next i started working on the fourth round and this is how my project looks like work on the same stitch until you get the required waist to the top of the growing length this is the final round of my project so i'm going to go ahead and work on my last round which is the fifth round and then i come back we do the growing area so these are the last few stitches before the end of my fifth round i'm gonna go ahead and work it here Now what you need to do, get the center of your project and then get the other center of the project. So this should be somewhere here. Go ahead and mark it for now. And then I'm going to go and do the actual counting to see if I've marked half half. But this is that the approximation. So what I need to do now is count these stitches from here to here to see if they are half at this point what you need to do you can go ahead so you need your pen paper or pencil and do the calculation as you remember when i did my stitches i made sure they are 64 which is a multiple of two in this case i'm going to go ahead and get 64 stitches i divide by two and i'm going to go ahead and get 32 stitches on my project i'm going to go ahead and put a stitch marker on the 32nd stitch on your project now the initial stitch marker that placed on at the beginning of the many stitches i have right here I may have lost two stitches along the way. I have 30 stitches up front and 30 stitches at the back. What I need to do at the beginning of your work, chain a total of six stitches. Once you chain six, you're not going to skip any stitches. You're just going to go ahead and continue making a pair of single crochet. Do is you're going to go ahead and insert the hook into the current stitch. You pull up a loop on the next stitch again. You insert the hook. You pull up a loop to have three loops. Yarn over and draw through all the three loops. Now, as you can see, you've made your chain here you continue doing the same thing as, as you did previously by making a paired single crochet throughout your project all you need to do is just make a chain stitch at the center front and at the center of, the, of your work like you divide your work into two halves so once you get to the second half you also go ahead and make a chain stitch This is my 30th stitch where I go ahead and chain 6. Take my stitch marker away. On the same stitch, you go ahead and insert hook. You draw up one loop. On the next stitch, you go ahead and insert hook, draw up a loop. And then you draw through all the three loops. And then you've made your chain of six. This chain that you just created and the chain that you last, they are going to be aligned at the center. So once they align themselves like that, so we are going now to go ahead and work our crotch area. This chain six, it's going to be the 
top of our growing area what we need to do now uh, you can go ahead and measure your project to make sure it's accurate and it's how you wanted it like from your way to the top of your groin you make sure that's what you wanted it to be so like mine it's approximately 1.5 inches and basically this is not going to fit any adult it's going to fit something like a doll small project of the demonstration purposes here it's about 8.5 the metric one which is 4.2 and work from the groin to the bottom 